the sleep study, basically, depending on what we're looking for, um, the wires will be placed on the patient to monitor their brain waves, um, see when they're awake, when they're sleeping, eye movement, leg movements, want to see if their legs kick when they're sleeping. Some people have restless legs. It's not a matter of sleep apnea, but their legs keep kicking all the time. Anything that's going to interrupt the brain from resting is going to make the person tired. So what we do, we look at all the different aspects. You know, we want to see what your heart's doing, if you're snoring, if um, what your brain's doing, do you get into a REM stage of REM sleep, you know, those kind of things. Are you talking during your sleep? Are your arms, you know, flaying, you're having nightmares, those kind of things. So um, once we can see what's going on with the different um, devices that we put on electrodes, then we can go forward and treat you know, once we get that documentation. So they come in and we hook them up and then we get them to bed to see some people don't sleep and then there are others who sleep as soon as their head hits the pillow. It's quite interesting how that works and no two, prom two people are the same. Um, they come in and we go through and we do the registration with them on the tablet and then we bring them back to the room. Uh, we show them all around the room, explain the controls, the TV control, the bed control. Um, get them something to drink, make them comfortable, and then we come back and we explain the procedure. Then they'll be hooked up with all the electrodes. Um, they can lay freely, turn however they want. They don't have to stay on their back. We want them to sleep how they normally sleep at home. Um, same as with any medications they take, we want it to be the normal. Um, then um, in the morning, we wake them up and offer them coffee, take all the electrodes off, and they're free to go. Patients sleep better when they're comfortable. So when the patient comes in, they want to be able to lay down and know that this is a comfortable room, it's cool, it's nice to look at. I have a TV with Wi-Fi um, in the room and you know I can relax and go to sleep. You have great technicians who work with them and they talk to them. By the time all of that hookup process is done and everything, it's time for bed, they go to sleep. But if they come in tensed up and nothing, nobody's comforting them in any way, they're not gonna sleep good. So that's our goal. Get them to sleep well, get them a room that's comfortable, and there you go, we have a good study.